everybody welcome back to my channel thanks for joining me today for this painting tutorial of a lady at moonlight holding a candelabra we're going to be using some really fun colors today i'm going to list everything in the description below for you guys so if you're ready to get started hit that subscribe and let's begin Okay, so to begin this painting, we're working on a 12 by 16 light gray primed canvas. You can paint this on any size canvas, any color canvas that you want, but the main idea is to make the background a bluey green color. So I'm gonna use a combination of phthalo green as well as phthalo blue. I'm gonna take one of my larger blending brushes. So I've got a number 50 filbert brush here. You don't have to have this brush, just any large brush you want to cover the background. I always get my brush a little bit wet. This helps the paint flow a little bit better. So I'm just gonna start with a little bit of this phthalo green. I may need just a little bit more water in there. And I'm just gonna come in. I like to kind of just do crisscross. And then sometimes I'm going to take a little bit more paint and make it darker. So the idea is to not make it all the same color. I'm going to go into, without washing my brush, some of the blue. As the brush starts to dry out a little bit, I'm going to take a little bit of water. more paint this creates more light and uh, dark areas right where you don't want it to be all the same tone and color everywhere So for the colors of the skin and the candles, I'm going to be using titanium white, crimson red, and cadmium orange hue. I'm also going to be using just a little bit of my thin craft paint for black. Okay, the brush that I've chosen is one of my filbert brushes. This is a number four. I'm going to get it a little bit wet. And I'm going to start with her hair at the top. I don't want it to be just straight black. So I'm going to take maybe just a little bit of this blue, red, and black. Just so you can see. It's a little bit more rich, like a dark, dark brown. And I'm going to go right from the top and just scoop down. So flatter on one side and then round on the other. And a little poofy. Make that look a little bit more solid by taking some more paint. Make sure we don't see through her hair. And then I'm just gonna begin the dress, her waist right here, and her dress that puffs out. I'm gonna take a little bit of water and thin this paint out a little bit more and this is going to create more of a, a tool thin layers to her dress right that pretty almost ballerina tutu sheer look just to, to some parts of it there in the background Take some more. I want to keep tinting it with a little bit of that red. And I'm just going to do lines like this to create the folds and the layers of the tulle or lace in her dress. And then I'm going to start to add just a little bit of white in here. 
Let's make it a bit smoky. It's going to be lighter than um, where her waist is. It's going to be really dark there and a little bit lighter in here. Let's get a little bit more of that. water on my brush. Let's pick up a little bit more of that blue and black. In some areas I want to have them a little bit smokier looking. And then we'll create some shadows for the folds by adding a little bit more black. I'm going to go up and over down here with a little bit of black just to slightly outline that and go in and wiggle let me try that again didn't have enough paint on my brush I'm gonna wiggle here for her waist and then it's on an angle This is her strap on her dress. And we'll just start filling this in with blue, maybe a little black, maybe a little bit of red. We've got another shoulder strap here. And it comes right down over here. And then it can be a little bit ruffly. But we're going to put her skin color in there so we can do that design later on if we want. Or we could just keep it simple. And add a little bit of red, white, and that black to add a little highlight. Maybe look, make it look a little satiny here.
I'm going to take some more white. A little bit of orange. Start working out that black in my brush. And I'm going to come and do a line right here. So it'll be straight. And then this one's going to be her shoulder coming up. And it's going to be more shadowed in here. So I'm going to apply less paint. I'm going to pull this in a little bit more here and add a little bit of shadow, a little, little bit more black. Coming in with some lines here for her cleavage, a little bit shadow here under her jawline. In her armpit area in here, just a little bit of a few little wiggly lines like that. So her face profile here, it's going to be mostly in shadow along this side. shoulder. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of this dusty rose color. Take a little bit of white and orange now to work on some lighter areas here. And we'll add more highlights as we go along. Sometimes we have to just start out with one layer first, wait for that to dry, and then know how much more to add as we go along. Just a little bit in here that I'm just going to soften with my finger. And this is where I can kind of cut in and make the shape of her dress a little bit ripply if I want. And then we've got that shadow there, so to just soften that in gently, you can just use your finger or a dry brush.
I'm gonna pick up some orange, really pull that in. We're gonna get the glow from the flames in here, from those candles. So we wanna start creating that warm glow and just start to very lightly and gradually add a little bit of it in. Just a little bit over here. Again, I just softened with my finger. We'll just start the first stages of her face right here. We're not going to see anything in too much detail. We're going to keep it a little bit elusive and mysterious. I'll brighten up with white and orange for my next highlight in here. And pull in a little bit of that gray. Right here. I could even get away with some blue violet, a little bit of ultramarine or cobalt blue mixed with um, some white, as well as that gray right in here. Get a bit of a cool light off to this side. And right, right in here, we're going to line the brush up and scoop up just for a little bit of light in there. We're going to come inside here. I'm going to add a little bit more black here now just to finish this off nicely, her strap. So I'm going to take a bit of red along with that black and any blue that I might have underneath here, and I probably do. I'm going to go over sweep And we'll fit the rest of this in now with a black mixture, blue, black, red, or just straight black if you want. And I'm going to take a little bit of my black red mixture, a little bit of the orange. Just 
start working on this area a little bit more her armpit there and we're, we're gonna have a little bit more shadow and then cuts over she just do a little bit of a scoop over on a slant see how it's kind of on a slant like this and then we're going to go up the other side and softly blend that in leaving the brighter area inside of her arm right In case that dries, and it, it probably will dry a little bit darker, so I'm gonna come in here and just add another little layer of highlights, a little bit of that smoky tan color we made here gray, dark charcoal gray with orange. And now we'll start her arm, the rest of her arm, I mean. Pick up a little bit more white, orange, right over top. Add some little bit of gray in there. And then come underneath. I'm gonna need a little bit more in there, a little bit of water. Loosen that up, help me work that out of the brush. A little slant right here that goes in, see that? From her elbow in, and then line it up pull over and now we're going to have her hand here right we're not going to do that yet we're going to do the um, finish off the rest of the highlights here and add a little bit more to the dress and then we'll um, add just a little bit more to her face as well and then do the candle So I'm going to go back after cleaning my brush out. Go right along here and add more highlights. And I'm just adding a little bit more white to my peachy color we've got going on there. Slightly bring it up just a little bit higher. Mix some more color in here, make this really bright. Draw her collarbone way about here. Be careful with your lines for collarbones and and shoulders because it can tend to um, look a little too skeletal if you don't do it softly enough. So just soften your lines and oftentimes a little bit less is more, especially for the shadows. And a little bit more of the orange now.
I'm going to go ahead and add some more orange here. A little, little bit of it right over here. I'm going to add extra highlights. A little bit more white. It's my golden peachy color. And then I'll just come around. I'll cut in and around her features. Sometimes that makes it a lot easier. I'm going to take a little bit of my black and red. Make this a little bit darker. Add a little bit more to her hair. Maybe we've got some wispy curls. And then her arm comes down, her other arm comes down here. It's going to be really in shadow, but we'll be able to see a little bit of it. So it comes down here. And just drops down by her dress. I'll add a little bit of 
soft gray to that. And then a little bit of a highlight here on this side of her dress. I'm just going to slide my brush and wiggle like that. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my black, blue, and red. Kind of wiggle. And then just make this kind of all blend into one another. I'm going to go back to my round brush here and make some light gray. And I'm going to do some little scallops to give this sort of a, you can pick up a little bit of that peach color. Some lace work maybe. And then with a little bit of black, I'm going to go the other way. And with my black, I've always got a little bit of blue or red in there. a little bit of white this time and begin to soften the shadow. To 
temperature changes from a cool gray color to a white peachy color. So it can take a little bit of time getting the colors that you want. A little bit of that phthalo black white. Some of that is pretty. For some of these shadow colors, little hints of that. Pick up a little bit more of my blue. Blue, black with a bit of white. We'll go along the edge of my arm here. A little bit more white in there. So I like the color I get with a blue, black, and white. It's a bit more muted and separate from the background. Then darker, a little bit of red, blue, black at the bottom, so I don't want these areas, I don't want the whole part of the dress to look see-through. I want to create that um, too much red, so I'm going to balance it out by adding some blue over top. And we're going to need a shadow in here. So yeah, I don't want, I want to create the layers, right? So if there's lots and lots of layers, plus some shadows going on because it is dusk, we're going to have some parts that are really dark here. And a bit of a blue shadow there. Oops, it's a little bit too dark. Just balance that out and correct it with a little bit of white.
right where these meet, the warm highlight and the cool tone back there. I'm just going to go over with a little bit of white. Really nice glow right there. I'll dry a little bit darker. layer of orange Little white and orange. I'm going to start working on the candlestick now. So I'm going to take some blue, black, and white with my round brush. So we'll do her fingers after, but we're going to do right about here a line. A long skinny rectangle and then we're going to do a line under that another little rectangle and then another one underneath leaving a little bit of that dark line in between so leaving a little bit of a space And I'm going to take some black and we're going to come around, kind of scoop to give it a rounded look. We'll start working our way up. Add a little bit more white in here for some more highlights. So you're not applying the highlights everywhere. We're going to just apply a little bit right here.
right there. And have a line here, a line there. Add some black. Just gonna line her fingers a little bit. Then I'm gonna drop down, scroll, down, and scroll. And then a little circle right there and another little circle a little triangle and a little line i'm going to add a little circle here a little circle here Little scoop and we'll make these stand out it's hard to see them right now but we add a little bit of light to them we'll add some highlights right and we'll make it stand out I'm just taking a little bit of blue now, I'm just accenting. Okay, so time for the candles. As this dries, I'll add a little bit of black to outline it and make it stand out a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to take blue with red first. And the first one's gonna come up a little bit higher. It's gonna come up right here and I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then the second one is a little bit lower. So again, so red and blue. And then line it up for the third and final candle. I'm gonna take a little bit of white We'll add a little bit of a cool shadow, kind of cool shadow highlight here. And 
looks kind of like a frosty color. Okay, the next color I washed all of that out. I'm going to take red. And I'm going to go on the top. I'm going to take a little bit of orange, white, and red. More of the orange, though. And I'm just going to graze the outside and the top. Clean my brush, go into red. So as the candle gets further down, we're going to add red to it. And then a little bit of a little bit of red at the top, a little bit of orange, white, and we'll start creating that little glow making it brighter and brighter. I'm going to take my black and blue. Just slightly outline that one a little bit better. Same with this one. And I've got a little bit of neon red that I thought would look quite pretty and really make this, the tops of these candles glow. Just picked up a little bit of a darker color in there. And then a little bit of blue with my red right in here. It starts to get darker. 
So we need the right balance of shadow, shadows to make the bright part, the glowing parts of the candles to really stand out. Okay, I think I'm ready to do the flames. Take a little bit of white. I don't wanna to have too, too much on my brush here. We're gonna create a little glow first on each one. So like a soft egg shape, little oval. Okay, it's a little bit brighter. And it's blending into what I've got underneath there. So I'm just gonna use a little bit more light there to counteract that. So we're gonna go inside. Some more white. I'm going to switch over to my smallest size zero filbert brush here. And I'm going to take a little bit of orange, mix it in with some white. I think I'm going to take a little bit of yellow as well. And I'm going to be using the cadmium yellow light hue today. Take a little bit more of that. So we're really, really pretty soft yellow here. I'll take a little bit of white because I accidentally picked up a little bit of that. orangey candle color. And we'll work on our hand in a little bit. I just want to add a little bit of this to the side of her face. I'm just going to take some, a little bit more of that blue mixture, a little bit of phthalo blue, a little red, white, a little bit of black. Some few more highlights in here. Back over to my liner brush. Let's take orange, white, blue, and red, just to make a lighter color here. And we'll just start adding some lines for her fingers and her knuckles. bit 
more white where they're going to be brighter. So her, we've got her thumb there around the other side. Take a little bit of black here. And I go, I go on a slant like this. I'll add a few final highlights before all this one done.
with a final touch, taking a little bit of yellow, black, and white. I'm going to do a little slide with black and red for the tops of the candle. And for the final detail, I'm going to take some blue and white, halo blue and white. Add a little bit more white. As I finish adding the final touches to this painting, which is just a little phthalo blue and white for some nice bright highlights, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. It was fun to show you how to do this. Can't wait to see your versions on our Facebook group. Have a wonderful day. Happy painting, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment or question below. I'm happy to connect with you. And I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye!